Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I've got everyone's favorite boatless angler with us today, folks. We've got Antonio with us. And today we're looking for that channel cap bite. And we're gonna be running the bait pockets. I uh, stuffed mine already. Antonio's just getting, uh, getting one rigged up there now. But they're really, really easy to fill. Uh, you fill it to the top, pull the string. It's already pre-knotted, cut off the tag end. And look at you've got a really really nice bait there and uh, i've got a five odd hook right here and i'm going to just poke it right through on one end so it hangs down you got a nice hook gap there beautiful i've got 20 pound floor carbon line right here and here i am running the thunder mist sinker slide uh, as you can see it's camel green and it's got a real nice large sinker snap which uh, accommodates all kinds of sinkers including bank sinkers and then it just slides back and forth and I've got a, uh, a swivel here which will take up any line twist and it'll also act as a natural stop. There we go. So that's the rig today and the advantage of the sinker slide system is that exactly that when the, when the fish picks up the bait they don't sense the sinker. So all they feel is the bait and they're able to pick it up and run with it. So sometimes it makes a difference. Check my drag. Okay, I've got a seven foot uh, fishing rod that I'm using today. What'd you bring Antonio, your telephone pole? Yep. <laughs> a 10 foot plus. 10 foot six. Okay, you got your pocket rig. Let me see your pocket. Beautiful. Oh, that looks really good. Now, here's the thing with the bait pockets. You could use whatever bait you want. You could chop it. So, for example, if I had four or five minnows and I put them on my hook, or if I chopped up those four or five minnows and put them in a bait pocket, it's going to release a way more scent. But the beauty is you can chop up livers, whatever you want, cut bait, uh, fish skin, whatever, whatever you've got that you have confidence in. And if you have an oily fish, even better, especially some of the saltwater fish, you could even cut up little pieces of shrimp uh, and put in there. Whatever uh, mix that you like to use, that's the beauty of the bait pocket. Fill it with what you like, let it release that scent. You're going to attract a lot of hits, and that's what we're hoping for today. So the wind is actually blowing this way, so it's going to carry my scent towards the shoreline that way. So that's why I cast it here as opposed to there because with the wind coming here, it would attract fish from this area, but we might have spooked them with the boat. So that's why I cast it out there. You got a sliding sinker or you got a T-turn bait rig? Sliding sinker. Sliding sinker rig. So you're running the same rig that I am. And we've got a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Actually, I'm a little bit too hot with this uh, survival suit on. Where are you? Where's I'm you basically straight out here, okay. Antonio. So if you want to go just a bit to the right, you'll be good to go you know what that's perfect so we're both kind of in the same zone too so again that's going to scent up that entire area we're hoping to attract a bite or two stay tuned folks so glad you could join us there we go there we go there we go there we go oh, my drag was loose uh, he's still on what happened there i thought i checked my drag i, I got him i got him oh <laughs> it's I can't believe it. Normally I check my drag. I thought my drag was tight. But what the heck? He comes to the top already. I don't know what I got here. Did you see that? He's at the top? Yeah, like, but he's fighting like a channel cat. So maybe he just, it, maybe it's just a smaller fish. It could just be a smaller channel cat. Now, I should have also mentioned I'm running the size 5 bait pocket, but you could use any size. Just tailor the size of the pocket to the fish you're after. And I also got, along with that 20-pound fluorocarbon I'm running, I'm also running th the new Thunder Braid, and I also got 20-pound Thunder Braid on. So I've got 20 and 20. So I've got plenty of strong line. He's coming in. Your line is there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Took a run. He took a run. But... So I'm up to my floor leader. I better back off on the drag now. You know what? It doesn't feel, actually it feels like he's got some weight. You know that? 
Like it feels like he's got some weight to him, but he came to the top of the surface back there. So usually that means a smaller fish, you know, Our or way. or something different. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, it could be a bowfin, but he's fighting like a channel cat. You know how you get those head sways? He's fighting like your typical channel catfish. But I will say this, folks, this is not typical because typical, Antonio gets the first bite. <laughs> <laughs> this is not typical. <laughs> I think it's a decent fish. I don't know if he's huge, but... I mean, for him to come to the surface like that, I don't know. He's got me doubled over, too. This rod is just... Oh, boy. Wow. Loaded right up. The rod is loaded right up. I've got a lot of pressure on him. And I'd like to at least see him, see what it is. It's got to be a channel cat. Oh, yeah, it's a channel cat. Nice it's one. a good one. It's a decent channel. I'm surprised because he came right to the surface. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh, there he is. There he is there. There's my sinker slide. So what he was able to do with this, oh, anytime you don't want fish to detect your bait, that's when the sinker slide comes in handy. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. We've caught a lot of channel cats using the T-turn bait rigs. This is a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh yeah, look at this fish. Okay. There's my bait pocket in the bag. Oh, it's thick. He's he's not necessarily long, but chunky fish. but chunky. Leave leave him up. We're gonna we're gonna. You know what? I like to weigh these fish because sometimes it's very deceiving as to uh, how heavy they actually are. I'm thinking fourteen. Fourteen? Maybe thirteen. Thirteen? Let's see. See how close you are. You are not that close. Well, you're close, but it's 16, eight, 16 and a half. So let's, oh. we'll take a pound off for the net. He's 15 and a half. Now, the reason it's so deceiving, Antonio, is because this fish is really, really thick. It's got a smaller head. So I would imagine that's a female fish. But it's thick. Look at the thick belly. It's a thick fish. And I could tell by lifting it, it's a heavy fish. <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab a photo. I like to grab a photo of the first fish of the day for our Facebook and Instagram friends. We're gonna let this guy go. So they've got these sandpaper teeth here, which will really do a number on you. But right here on the side, where my where, on the side here, there's no teeth right right here. So you could use that to your advantage. And I'm just gonna take this hook out because they can really clamp down on your finger. And I'll tell you, it, it, it hurts. There's, I will reuse that pocket. In fact, what I'm gonna do with that, to let you know, I will dip it back into my concoction there that I have. I'll dip it in there and that will add more scent to it. That is one thick, that is one thick, heavy channel cat right there. Oh, it's deceiving, Antonio. Way wider than I thought. Yeah, it's wider and thicker than you thought, eh? Good fish. I'm gonna try to, well, I'll try to hold him up sideways if I can, but I don't think I can. He's just too thick, so that's how it's gonna have to be. But that's a nice, healthy channel catfish right there. And if you notice, look at the whiskers. This one whisker on the one side is long and huge. This one looks like it's been uh, shortened somehow. Maybe something took a bite out of him. But, oh, oh, there he goes. Out of my hands he went and took off. Okay, that's how, that's a quick release. That's what you call quick release, Antonio. <laughs> and slimed. But yeah, this, uh, we're just gonna have ourselves a beautiful day out there. And that's what channel cat fishing is all about. Find a nice day, nice weather. I packed a lunch. I've got a nice lunch I packed here. I've made myself some homemade pizza. 
packed some nice water. I got a little espresso on the side. We're just going to have ourselves an enjoyable day out here today. What do you think about that, Antonio? Good start. Nice fish. That's a great start, and we're going to enjoy the day. Wherever you are, folks, I hope that you're enjoying your day, and I want to thank you for spending time with us. We really appreciate that. We have viewers from all over the world, and it, it's, that's very humbling for us. We really like the comments you leave. We appreciate that as well. So thanks for tuning in, and until next time, good luck and good fishing. Okay, let me re-dip this bait and get it right back out there again. <laughs>